Hey art friends, we're super excited you're gonna draw with us today. You need your drawing supplies. You can use a pencil, but we're gonna use a marker. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, and what are we drawing today? An eastern bluebird. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the eye to our bird, and we're gonna draw a little circle up here on the top left of our paper. I'm gonna draw it right about here, and I'm gonna draw it, oh, let's draw it bigger so that it's nice and cute. I'm gonna draw it about that size. <laughs> there you go. And then let's draw a smaller circle in the top right for the highlight. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. It makes the eyes look shiny, friendly. And, and cute. And cute, yeah. Now let's draw the beak. And we're gonna draw a small beak, and it's really sharp, but we're gonna draw the, the inside of the beak first. That kinda looks funny, but that, <laughs> that's the part coming into the head. So we're gonna draw a sideways V. And then now let's draw a line coming out of the middle of that V. We're gonna come just about to there. Not very far forward. It looks like an arrow, huh? Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the top of the beak. We're gonna start at the top of the V and we're gonna come forward, but then right at the end, curve down and connect. Now the bottom of the beak, we're gonna just draw a diagonal line that comes up and connects. Yeah, there we go. Now let's draw the top of our bluebird. We're gonna start here on the top of the V again, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes over the eye and then back down. Good job, <laughs> it's looking cute. Okay, now let's draw the neck or the front of the head. We're gonna start at the bottom of the V and we're gonna draw a little curve like this. So it kind of curves the other direction. And then let's draw the belly. We're gonna draw it coming down like this and we're gonna draw it curving and then back up. Looks like a letter J. Yes, mm -hmm. I love that cute little belly. Okay, now let's draw the wing. We're gonna start right here, right underneath the eye. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming forward towards the neck and then we're gonna draw it coming down almost close like it's gonna to connect to the bottom. Okay. We could even go a little further too. Yes, and then let's come back up here and we're gonna draw the back of the wing so we could draw a little bump coming down. And then let's connect to the wing. We'll come all the way to the point back here. Now let's draw the tail. We're gonna draw another diagonal line coming down further from the wing. Then let's draw another diagonal line coming down and I'm gonna get a little further away towards the bottom. Now at the very bottom between these two lines, we're gonna draw a curve that comes up in the middle and then back down so it looks like a little upside down V. Yeah, now we can draw the little feathers coming in and connecting to the tail. I love it. It's really cute, Adley. <laughs> and I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. Yours is looking perfect. And it's okay if their drawings are looking different too, because I'm sure they're turning out awesome. The most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw the little details on the wing right here. I'm going to draw a U shape right here. Then let's draw another one right above it. And then let's draw another one. I'm kind of drawing them bigger. You see how it's getting a little bit bigger? Yeah. Yeah. And then we could draw, let's draw a bunch of little U shapes coming across like this and connecting to the back. Now let's draw the branch that our little bluebird is sitting on. I'm gonna start way over here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes across our paper and we're gonna leave a little space in between the belly and that line. Then let's draw another line or curve that goes right with that first one. Now let's draw the legs and also the toes. I'm gonna to start right about here and we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming forward and then connecting to the branch. Let's make the leg look a little thicker because that's super thin. We're gonna draw another line right next to it. 
And then let's draw the toe, the back toe coming around the branch. And then we're going to start here and make it a little thicker, but there's a point for the toe or the talon. Yes. And then right here, we could draw a little curve going in front of the branch. Okay, let's do that again for another leg. We're going to draw this one coming down a different direction. Then let's make it thicker. And this one we're not going into the body because this one is behind the body. Yeah. Yeah, make it look more 3D. So there's the leg. Now let's draw the talon again. We'll just repeat the same step like we did here. We'll draw the curve wrapping around. And then we'll draw a little point at the end and then curve back up to the leg. And then we can also add the little curve in front. Oh, let's come back up here and we'll draw the little knee or elbow. I'm not sure. <laughs> elbow. A knee. <laughs> a knee, yeah, on its leg. And then we could also draw the feathers. I'm going to draw a zigzag line right there so that it's coming out of the feathers. Cool. Now let's color in the leg. Solid black. Point all the way forward. And then even color in the talons. We could do the same thing on the other leg. Let's add a few more feathers to the wings. Right here, you could add one more feather that comes out of those and then connects. So this really long feather right here. And then down here, we could add another feather that comes all the way down further. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our bluebird. It looks really cute, except... We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Actually, in this video, let's not fast forward the whole thing. And we picked out our colors. We're using our biannual markers. If you have the same set, you can use the same colors that we're using. This is B205. This is a, one of my favorite blues that we use for everything. And then also I picked out Y611, maybe for the branch, and then R105 for the belly. The Eastern Bluebird has a really cool red, kind of orange belly. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first part is that we colored with our blue marker the top of our Bluebird. Then let's start here, and we're going to color the wing too. So the red comes under the neck and then comes down the belly, and the wing is all blue. Now we're still going to fast forward some of the coloring. So you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Now we have all of the wing colored in. Let's color in the tail also. I'm also switching back to my black Sharpie. And you could use a dark gray for this part. But we're going to color in the beak solid. That looks cool. Now we're ready to color the belly. And we're using R105. This is really red, but it the Eastern Bluebird is a little more orange, but that's okay. We don't have the exact color. So I'm going to color in this part under the neck and then also down the belly. Some of the belly is white right down here next to the, to the leg. So I'm going to color and leave it kind of zigzag down here at the bottom so it looks like feathers. Mm -hmm. And then we'll color here and end it right maybe like that into the wing. That looks really cool. Hadley, good job. Keep going all the way. Oh, thanks. You can keep going all the way down to the leg, but leave this bottom part white. Next, let's color in the branch, and we're using Y611. And this part will fast forward, but we're going to color it in solid with this light brown first. You could also leave the top of the branch white for a little highlight. Another thing sometimes I like doing is adding texture to the branch. So you could go back and forth like this to make it look more round. Oh yeah. See how it looks more natural this way mm -hmm. instead of solid. But that's okay if you want to keep it a little easier and just color it in solid. Well, that looks really cool. Then I'm going to use a slightly darker brown Y325. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Okay. But I'm going to add more texture. And maybe this is lower on the branch so that it looks more like a shadow. So we can go around. I'm kind of making the, the, this texture lines curved so that the branch looks round too. Ooh, and then we could also make little texture lines like this to make it look even more natural. Oh, yeah. 
Next, let's switch to our light gray CG03, and we can add a little shadow underneath the beak. And you could leave this off if you want to keep the lesson a little easier. Also, if you want to make your bird look a little more cartoony, you could leave the shadow off. So I add a little shadow. Oh, you could come down even into the belly down here. And I like doing little zigzag lines like this to make it look more like feathers. So I know I'm going kind of fast, but you could pause the video and take extra time for this part if you want. I add a little shadow too under the wing. Oh, that looks awesome, Henley. Good job. You could also add a little shadow right here under the wing on the tail. And you could also add little shadow lines on the tail that give it texture. We added more branches, little branches coming off. I also added buds, which kind of makes it look more like a spring drawing, and yours looks more like a winter drawing. You could even add snow on the branch if you wanted to. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. That would be cool. Let's leave it just like this for now, and let's switch to our white colored pencil, and we can add a little highlight on top of the beak. You could also add it to the top of the head if we wanted. And sometimes I like making the little highlight in the eyes shinier. You can even add an extra highlight. I also added extra lines here on the wing for the feathers. We could add a little highlight on the edge of the wing. Oh, and we could also add a highlight to the talon right here. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Eastern Bluebird. It looks really cute. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise. Mm -hmm. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.